Uh oh! This raggedy dude! <laughs> Boom! What's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here with my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and skull cap, and this is We Ain't Seen Any Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today, we are jumping into those deep, dark galaxies, turning into debris for some more Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans reactions. Last time we left off, we got a bit of a um, family reunion, man, you know, which we suspected would happen. You know, it's like my man, um, Os what's his name? Akahiro. Mm -hmm. Akahiro, he was talking about his brother, and we knew that was going to be a lead up. We just wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. And the first time they met, you know, his brother was a little conflicting and stuff. And the second time he met and he got a chance to actually chop it up with Akihiro. Akihiro was talking about, yeah, you know, life was rough, but I found friends and we've been having fun and stuff like that. He was like, fun? Y'all been having fun? Meanwhile, I've been over here eating these nasty ass protein bars out of a vending machine and being lucky to get seconds if one of my squad mates die. You got to die. You got to pay. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Basically, for whatever reason, he felt like his ultimate escape would be sacrificing himself. Because one of the guys from the Brewer faction, who has this big ass hammer and thick daddy armor and um, metrosexual personality, he decided he was going to try to go in for the kill while Akihiro's back was turned. He was like, Yeah, my Sahiro, leave him just like that. I'm going to get his. Oh, shit. Right. And now he's the only one. Because, uh, god damn it. The little tiny one, he been over there killing up everybody. Oh yeah, which one is the tiny one? The only one that's tiny. The one with the black hair and the, the big the eyes. Black hair and, oh, you talking about my man, um... What's the man name? My, Masahiro or something like that? No. Not Masahiro, but uh... What's my nigga name, man? Um, They always call him Mika, I think. Mikazuki. Mikazuki, yeah. There you go. See this while we gotta... It's like there's so many different syllables. So many syllables! Names. That's why we can't remember. But I understand why. Right? That's why they give them short names up in the show. Mikazuki. Yeah, it's like they that's call them Mika. Was, like, too damn long. It's all these syllables, and I'm not trying to mess it up. So I'm like, I'm gonna just call him the short one. We all know who that is. Right. Okay. He be busting up on everything. He don't care. He done killed the whole squad except for that dude. That's the last one he was trying to kill. Okay. Yeah. That's why I love that character. I do too. But uh, I just like how they were supportive of my man um, Akihiro when he was talking about he was nothing but debris. He was a waste of space. Yeah, you know, they was being, you know, very supportive of him. They even turned it on themselves. It was like, they well, did. It's like, if we going to call ourselves that, we're going to do it as a team, as great, a unit. Great, wonderful friends. Okay. But anyways, man, um, shit, I ain't even opened up the site You know, yet. you don't ever be prepared. I do be prepared. No, you don't. Somebody be rushing. No, I, we was over here talking about God dang on uh, that dude. You know what you did. We was talking about Kang the damn conqueror. Kang the. We damn wasn't even man. talking about. I was being uh trying to rush him. No, we 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 wasn't rushing. We was looking at this. We call her Mother Russia for a reason, y'all. What are you talking about? Cause she be rushing. Mother Russia. That was such a dad joke. Yep, yeah, turn it. Mother Russia. You mean a zad joke, zaddy? Uh, but um, here we go, guys. Oh, it's funny how he looks so small now, like a little kid, and he's getting pushed away. Mm -hmm. No! What's a hero? That man took her off the bowling. There was nowhere for him to go. Nope. Yep. Nothing to kids in here, too. Hey, it's alright. Don't be afraid. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Man, they're gonna go AWOL and kill y'all if y'all. See? Of course. This feels pretty strange. It does. But it doesn't. Right now, I don't feel any pain at all. Lucky hero. Is it the Elia Bignana? It really is strange, you know? Come on, the thing you got in his back? I'm not human after all. Stop! Stop saying that Please. dumb stuff! I don't have to talk anymore. I remember someone telling me a story once. He said, when humans die, their souls are reborn and they can start life over. 
You're so useless, you can't even be a proper decoy. At least now you'll rot in the fort, along with the rest of this space garden. I won't let you get in the way! I'll get here any time. Just say his goodbyes. Not sure whether it's true, but I'll know. In just a few moments. God damn it. I'll go first and check it out for us. Oh, wow. Well. Brother. Nay. <laughs> he finished his walk to pull them. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be one of the harshest episodes. I love the sword, man. It's like the spirit's cool, it but this matches is... that gun. Yeah, because it looks more like a samurai. Hey. Uh, why? Why won't you just die? Because he built for this shit. Ooh, I like that. Am I really enjoying this? It kind of makes sense because all that shit is like a byproduct of the Calamity War, right? So maybe he's feeling that again. This one doesn't deserve to stay alive. Period! <laughs> ah. Yeah, exactly. A lot of cake. You won't have none of that for a little bit. And that's okay. It's for the family. He's definitely rushing it. She looks like she barely got out of her diapers yet. <laughs> Please run off. Please run. I don't even know why she would just be so excited to marry a dude that She's wouldn't have a choice. She's probably taught that that's, the, that that's gonna be the highlight of her life. You, you forget this was real. You're not dancing. I forgot this nigga also did the voice of Griffith up in the 2016 show. Did some Griffith act activities, behavior. can't even dance with my cheek against yours. Turn this off. What, her cheek? You know, like her face? No, I understand. <laughs> Now, let us dance, but forgive them. Because to me, out of all the ladies here, you're the most beautiful. <laughs> I condemn this show to hell. Hell. Chris Hansen need to show up at the ball. Special. Forget Bet you wish Mikazuki would shoot him in the face. Oh, I can't wait. For us. I hope this show went on long enough to see that character perish. Mars might not be the greatest place, but it beats staying here. And we've got a stable base set up there, too. You can have a hot meal every day. Wait, what? I talked it over with Naze. <laughs> We're gonna take care of these guys. If only what's the name brother had been in that take number. <laughs> That's all these kids want. Huh? Until just a while ago, we were trying to kill you. Yeah. So why? That was your job, wasn't it? What choice did you have? Oh, following orders. Unless you were doing it because you wanted to. No! In fact, I didn't give it any thought until now. I couldn't, because we're... Human debris. Born in space. You're not afraid to die there either. You're the chosen few. I'm proud of it. Mm. We're taking it. Welcome to the family. <laughs> That's all time I cry. Wait it all out. I so wish Masahiro had been able to experience. He this was too moment. far gone, it seems. He was, he was. It's quite simple. You will pay any reparations we ask for. Got it, Brooke Kabayashi. He got the hat on this time. Naze Turban. Well, Miku Dixon. Now, let's see. Kick him. I'll take one of your ships and all the mobile suits. What? Yeah. Hey, that's asking too much. You heard me, Oolong. You don't like it. I can sell pieces of your flesh instead. They're loaded with fat. For real. We can feed up to the dogs. <laughs> we'll be heading down to the colonies next. The brewer's assets consist of two ships and ten mobile suits we should be able to fix. 
Why don't we have a funeral for the boys? Hillary! Funeral? That's smart what? thinking. Where I'm from is a very old tradition. It's the way my colony honors the dead. The ceremony allows the soul to be free. That way, it can be safely reborn. I don't know about that. Sounds strange. I'm all for it. <laughs> Apparently, funerals were a fairly important tradition for much of Earth's history. By going through these ceremonies, they say the soul of the dead forgets the pain they had when they were alive. Right, what y'all been doing with the dead bodies and if y'all be having funerals? Is that true? For real. Who knows? I want to do it. What? I'm serious. If it were up to me, I think we should. I want to help them forget their pain. Even for just a little while. Well, if that's the case, then we'll lend you a hand. We should tell everyone else. Yeah. Good call. Poor Space okay. Guts. And I'll go back to the Eastern has so much good story to tell, but the only thing he keeps repeating is the Golden Age arc. Sucks. Guess man. you're not that interested, are you? To be honest, I don't really get it. All that talk about the soul being reborn. We'll be able to see the dead when it's our turn to die. This funeral is just a waste of time. But not everyone here accepts the deaths of their friends quite so easily. These funerals, they're just as much for the living. It allows people to move on and accept the absence of those they've lost. Prepare salute shots. See ya. I think I need to save that ammo. See you later, Space Cowboy. I need to say that for Galahorn. No, this reminds me of... Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy yes. send off. Yes! <laughs> the fires of the Gorg... <laughs> ...will fly over your grave. Incredible. What's going on? Did you do this, old man? Yeah. I messed around with the hydrogen in the propeller. Makes a hell of a show. Right? <laughs> it was all Yamagi's idea. <laughs> Are you serious? They're fading. Yeah. <laughs> you could cry. That's what a funeral's for. It allows the living to remember those who've gone and say their goodbyes. I like how this must time. be his favorite wife. Mm -hmm. It's all right. You can let it all out now. No, sir. Probably the first one he had. Send off our brothers in style. Mm -hmm. Probably the first one he had. Wants to look Probably with their eyes. Mm -hmm. All the sales procedures have been complete. Why did that boy yeah, look like that's his mom? Mm. Thank you for everything. And uh, I'm not just talking about the loot either. The funeral one. Please, brother, don't mention it. Now then, Omni Dog. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> get biscuit over there. Why are you kissing all of a sudden? Oh, like they about to eat each other intestines or something. High death rates have high birth rates too. Huh? This Being could be pretty makes you start thinking about life. Mm -hmm. The next thing you know, the woman beside you starts looking pretty good. Wow. I always look good. <laughs> right? Like, what the fuck are we talking about right now? Is that so? That could so, be us. Like, you're all, what, you we don't have a about? ship in outer space. All right. Can you give this to me? And I'll probably deplete what? you before you've married anybody you else. Oh. At the funeral. I kept thinking about the ones who died. Look, okay, has a fork straight I have of each of them. Mm. Even the ones I never really talked to. But the memories I have of Masahiro are only from my childhood. And now the last one I have of him is the moment when this suit took his life. If it's mine, at least it'll be something that'll always connect the two of us. I see. I wonder what's wrong. They're usually so happy and full of energy. They were so excited about the ice flowers. Um. They can't help it. They're only children. Unconsciously, they keep their problems buried down inside. But sometimes, the strain shows. Unconsciously, huh? Miss, you should get to sleep now. I'm okay. I can stay a little longer. Takan, they were named the flowers that never wilt and die. Right. Oh, hey. 
Mikazuki, you can't get to sleep? No. It's just... Hungry? How many of those do you have, man? Oh, bro, make sure he got What's a... What's the matter? Oh, you're Your hands are shaking. Huh? You're right. I wonder why. Something feels strange today. Maybe Mikazuki has them too. Miko's mass on the lives of strong emotions that he keeps inside. Unconsciously. Mmm. He's starting to love killing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. These kids need to be nurtured and loved. Yeah, she's trying to nurture and love him, alright. I was doing this to the little kids earlier, and they seem to calm down afterwards. Sorry. I guess. I wasn't thinking. Uh-oh! This raggedy dude! <laughs> what, what? What are you doing? I thought you were cute. Uh-oh. Nigga, the five second rule is over. Uh, whether I like it or not. Well, that's what I can't stand about anime sometimes. Take time. You should ask. My man. My man. And the girl who been doing stuff for him this whole time gets nothing. <laughs> I like how they just cut to her. She's sitting there slaving over some hot ass stove now. She must hear us talking about her. Being impressed by Gallahorn these days. They're all anxiously awaiting the appearance of a beautiful revolutionary. Do you need to chill on the sweets? Big ass earlobes. I've decided. The stage for the death of Cordelia Ina Bernstein will be the colony. Really? So I kind of want her to be depleted now. Why? I'm like, no. I can't. Boy, that happens in almost every anime we look at. I mean, at. she didn't ask to be kissed by this dude. No, it's, I know. I know. It's not her fault. It is her fault, but it's not her fault. I mean, she just feels like... I these... mean, that's not her fault. She didn't ask for that. But Yeah. I mean, it's, it's always like that. It's like, the dude... Always goes for a girl who literally doesn't do anything for him. I guess she taught him how to read. Great. Yeah. But the person, like, it's always that. The character who has been there since day one and done everything for the character. Nothing. Right. Just nothing. Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but I'm like, whatever. You know what? Dearlier. Goodbye. Yeah, man. Um, It's like. That, that the subtitle of this show, Iron Blooded Orphans, really just starts to hit even more as we see these characters mm -hmm. and all they know is just how to hold a gun or a blaster or pilot a damn Gundam. It just echoes even louder the more mm -hmm. we see more of these other characters that are undergoing similar issues, except a lot harsher because they didn't have that warm embrace or support of others that could, you know give them a fun time you know it's like these feelings are absent a lot of feelings that kids should be feeling are absent happiness love you know yeah, what I'm they're saying? not being nurtured at all i mean they just kind of grow up in raggedy environments and that's all they know so it's like in, right. in a way you really can't blame them it's mm -hmm. like are you you're starting to enjoy unaliving people yeah I mean, like he, i mean he probably is right it's almost like it's a high because his hand is shaking like he needs to get back to what he was doing, which is like destroying these dudes. Y'all got some more? Right, I need a pistol in my head, or I need to be in the cockpit killing mofos. I give this episode an A+. I'll give it an A+. You know what? No. No, I'm going to give it a C for Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. Nice. Because that one dude, he... No. Mm -mm. I mean, that's just the way the he, royal... No, he needs to be done away with. This is supposed to be in the future. I and mean, they doing it. No, unalive him now. Okay, but otherwise, outside of that dude, I'll give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into episode 14, which is titled Vessel of Hope. Let's do this. Enter port at door 2, along with Cudelia. <sighs> These kids going to give me a heart I'm just attack. like, so she is a double agent. Uh huh. She's the one that's probably giving away their location because the brewers found know. them. I need to learn all I can. She's probably in contact with uh my boy Makilla or whatever his name is. She's in contact with that fat dude. Please, I can really oh yeah. She said I need to quit eating. Mm. Yeah. I thought I was like, is she a double agent or not? Miss Cordelia, do you have a minute to talk? Mm. Yes, yeah, I was just giving away our location when you just. 
Did something happen to oh, you? Oh, Have you ever, um, ha have you ever gone out on a date with a man before? Huh? No, because I've been watching your ass. Young men will ask women out, even if they don't have romantic feelings for them. Are you saying that someone kissed you? No, 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 hypothetically. You know, just as a what if. But if something like that did happen, does it mean that Say I should no. consider marrying that person? Mm. Get the. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? Come on, what's so strange about that? <clears throat> My apologies. If you're curious, I might suggest that you simply ask the man what his true feelings are. Seriously. Getting that information out of Mika yes, Zuki right. is like talking to a cardboard box. <laughs> For real. I'm sorry. I know this was kind of sudden, but I've always felt like I could talk to you about anything, you know? Is it just me, or do they all look exactly alike? Apparently, these colonies are a public enterprise run by the African Union. They all belong to the same company. Oh, mm. Dort. Dort. I see the number up ahead. What the heck is Dort? Dort 2, huh? What about that one? That's, uh... It's Dort 3. That's where a lot of factory owners from Earth live in luxury inside beautiful homes. It's also where quite a few commercial facilities are located. Oh, you really know your stuff, Biscuit! Right, they need to be trying to get that biscuit. Shoot, right. he's the only one that's got some sense. Uh, wait a minute, that planet. Earth? Yeah, sure is. It's blue, a lot prettier than I thought it'd be. Yeah, it looks like a jewel. While all of you are out there working over on Door Two, do you think that it'd be possible for Fumitan and me go to Door Three? For what reason? Door Three. Yes. If there are commercial facilities there, I'd like to get a little shopping done. Young miss, I don't think that... That's okay with you, right? I only wanted to pick up a few things. And it's been a long time since I've been shopping anywhere. Trying to pick me up a new dress so I can impress this dude. Mm. Why is she balling her fist up like that? She wants to steal off on this woman. What? You're shopping? That was a woman's fist balled up, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She want to steal off on a blonde chick. Probably because it's going to her plans to get her caught up. Yeah. Mika, can you go with them? No problem. Oh, Mika Zuki? Why is that? Anything could happen out there. And we need a man that's ready for battle. Here with her. I know she'll be in good hands. Oh my god, get this. Hey, Orga. Yeah. I've been wanting her okay gone for the longest. Well. She is so out of place. Uh, sure. In a How about everybody just go shopping? Let's buy a whole bunch of things. Okay, Miss Cudelia? Uh, sure. Hey, you're not really going to pilot that one, are you? That's the suit that killed your little brother, right? Uh, Lofter. Shut up. All right. I've already made up my mind. Were there any problems with the cargo? Ah, uh, we double checked all the containers. Everything seemed to be accounted for. Sounds good. Now, it's your first job, so I'd like to come along and make sure that all is well. But unfortunately, we still have to sell off the brewer's stuff. So we're going to the Tewaz branch on door six. Don't put me down, all right? Just leave it to us. Well, remember not to mess around with Gallarhorn while you're down there. Keep your eyes open around those guys, because the soldiers they've got are much better trained and far more motivated than the ones in the outer spheres like Mars or Jupiter. Come on. We're not going to know anything until we fight them. You really don't get it, do you? We're inside the Earth sphere now. Exactly. In the outer spheres you're used to, there are basically no rules. But law and order are strictly enforced out here. If you kill someone, there are a lot of Karens in this part of the galaxy. Tewas may be respected in the outer spheres, but on Earth, it's no different than any run-of-the-mill corporation. Don't cause any trouble out there. Boy, that's like telling a brick not to be a brick. So, you're really tech uh, yeah. I'm kind of surprised. That's exactly what I thought this character looked like. Mm. kids. What about it? Don't underestimate us just because we're young. Please don't get the wrong idea. I can't tell you how much we were looking forward to your arrival and finally getting to meet you in person. All right, Ken Penderson. Are you Kutelia Ina Bernstein? Huh? No, 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 I'm, no. I'm not. I'm Hillary Clinton. Kutelia has gone to a different <laughs> column for other matters. She won't be here. Oh, really? Oh, that's too bad. She's the star of hope for all us workers in the Earth sphere. Just like the young band of knights who are so bravely protecting her on her journey to Earth. What's a band of knights? It's you. Me. You're it's the band of the hawk, or didn't you know? Mm. Thanks so much for coming. 
We want to welcome you all to Dork 2. Yeah, thanks for the hospitality. Dork 2, that name. With your permission, would it be all right if we begin unloading our cargo? Sure, go right ahead. Now listen up, guys. You understand that this is our first job as members of Tewas. So let's kick some ass. Yeah! So, what are you looking at? Huh? Well, when I was a little kid, it was always a dream of mine to come here. What are you talking about? Well, I've never told anyone this, but I'm actually from these colonies originally. Mmm, no wonder you're so big. But it wasn't here. I lived in the slums of Dorothy. Is that like the intergalactic Costco? My mom and dad used to break their backs. This looks like Costco. Oh, right. Jesus. Big food warehouse. Those lights. Even in the Earth. The way sphere, shit is just in bulk. The mm -hmm. people who live down on Mars. We're made to work for next to nothing. And if we ever get injured and slowed down a little, we get the boot. And we don't get any insurance either, so we can't afford to get sick. While the people on Earth lead their fancy lifestyles and suck up all the profits. We've been enduring this injustice for decades now. So you're nothing but expendable tools. Sounds a lot like the time we spent back in the CGS, doesn't it? No matter what planet you're on, it's the same. Then, a ray of hope came out of the darkness and shone down upon each one of us. We heard about Cordelia Ina Bernstein like and the real things she's been doing. <laughs> Oh, you mean Ray? She's not okay. only leading the Mars independence movement, but Don't also even remind the powerful magnate of Earth's economic block. Could there be anything more exciting than that? Captain Marvel. Because of her, we realize that if we rise up, That's we can change Ray. this world. How'd you find out about us in the first place? Oh, our I don't even know. Told us. Who might that be? I know who's not a teenager. I finished unloading everything. Good work. Now go ahead and get back to the ship. Blondie's girlfriend. Please confirm that all cargo was accounted for. Or soon to be wife. Okay. I'd be glad to. You've got an older brother, Biscuit? Huh? Yeah. But it's been a long time since the two of us have seen each other. Oh, no. Back when <laughs> our mom and dad got into an accident and died. Oh, God, not again. Parker and I were adopted by our grandmother and went to go live with her on Mars. Oh, that's why he became a healthy boy. My brother was going to school when all of this happened. He was smart and taken in by a company executive. We haven't kept in touch since. I'm sure he wishes he could have spent more time with his brother. Please contact him. All right? Savory? It's me, Biscuit. You're kidding. Is it really you, Biscuit? Hey. Yeah, that's right. I'm working for an organization called Tekadin now. Damn. Um, yeah. And Boy, you better get your brother out of there. You know what's up. Some business. So, uh... Basically, a wanted if fugitive. It's not too much trouble. Could we maybe meet up for a little while? Mm -mm. Ellen, you still there? Uh, uh. I'm sorry. I was just surprised because this is so sudden. How about this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. I'll see you later then. Hopefully he won't. to leave with me. <laughs> or wait, is he going to try to kill him? Mm -hmm. Oh god, I don't yeah, even know. I think he's, he's going to try to kill him. If anything, he's going to have to decide no, if he wants to give him up or it's not. Just, what did that live in such thing say that was on his computer? I I'm mean, sure it was basically like they were wanted or something. Sorry. Hope I didn't cause you any trouble. No, not at all. Yeah, she knows what's going on. Yeah, she does. She's yeah, the one who sent that the information. Did you know from there? Uh, well, maybe, but... Oh, I hope Mika's gonna be okay, busting cap at her. Oh! I want to just get everybody at this point. I'm sorry, Miss Fidelia. Would you mind if I left the rest of the shopping to you? Uh, no, of course not. <sighs> who have you been talking to? I, I don't know the name. They just told us they were Kudelia's proxy. What? Yeah, see? The blue girl. Is, see? She get going and start a rebellion. Not just on Mars. Oh, shit! But every other sphere, too. Then, we were assured that all of the necessary arms and ammo we'd need to help oh see it through God. would be provided Boy. by her via Tekadon. She been setting them up. I about this. Now what? The hell? <laughs> Oh my god. We should have known she was working with Gallimore when she had that purple. Yeah. Global workers for combat, arms, and ammo. Looks like the report was true. They report? have got In illegal transactions up. going on here. Hey, wait a minute. We were only. I don't want your excuses. How are we going to get out of this one? Did you hear me? Hurry this up. doesn't look good. You too. Oh, they finna do something. Let's get they ain't no slouches. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! And now, uh, Texan is gonna get blamed for all of it. 
They got to. They were planning a rebellion anyway, so. Is that the boss? Not for a Understood. Oh, and I have something to report. The client for the shipment appears to be a company called GN Trading. I don't think I've ever heard of them before. Gotta go. GN Trading. Yes, sir. Crudelia will become central to the rebellion within the colony and be shot by a Gallarhorn assassin. We have already laid the groundwork. <sighs> What's the matter with me? Why did I disobey my orders? Crudelia. To me, she's nothing but... Hammerhead, please respond. This is the Issa Rebi. Come in, Hammerhead. <sighs> What's wrong, darling? Those decadent idiots have gone and caused problems already. Can you believe it? <laughs> Pull back, man! <laughs> <laughs> but they on the roof, <laughs> right? <laughs> These damn interns. Y'all didn't win anything. This thing isn't over yet. They'll be back before you. Y'all must not know. Y'all won't. bring even more troops than you can count. I know you're right about this. You got a new outro thing for us to turn back now. We have to fight them head on and win. That's right. That right. Let's go. They don't call me Jake from State Farm for nothing, right? Are they all out of their minds. Look at them. What are we gonna do now, Morgan? I don't know. Y'all stuck on that now. So you told her to take the damn plane and get the hell out. Right? Why he look like he could be a young version of Scar from Fool Me the Alchemist? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I knew it, man. I was like, somebody gave away fucking what's the name's location when the damn um what are Fumitan, those? Fumi Tan, that's her name. Yeah, Fumi Tan. Yes, she's been giving Fumi. away all these people. Bayo Heffa. Right, Bayo Heffa. Yeah, like, that's how the brewers were able to discover them, too. It's like, she's been, like, the beacon, basically, just leaking all the information and their whereabouts and she stuff. She is, and they, nobody has been the wiser. Right, I'm like, this bitch is just sitting here for a reason, being suspicious looking, you know? There's something going on with her. Technically, the only reason we know that, I forget that formal name for it, is because of the information the audience knows, but the characters don't know. They right. don't know that, because for all they know, she's just being her quiet self. But it's brilliant. I, I, I guess the higher ups at Gallahorn, or maybe even her dad, planted this woman there. It's like, okay, she's gonna do what she needs to do. Smart. Keep I mean, an eye on her. She because be... they know they're dealing with kids, right? And she's probably one of the oldest people on board, or their ship anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what to do. But I that... gotta get this episode next because I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of on the edge of my seat a little bit. Yeah, I was too. You know, it's like, man, it's like these people have been leaking out. Well, she's been leaking the information to my. They're gonna stage a rebellion and stuff. And I guess they didn't even plan any of that. Right by proxy, they think that um my girl Kudelia is associated. Knows with about that. it. They think Take It In knows about it. They mm -hmm. think uh the, what's the other company that's not Take It In, but the one they became Tay brothers Wass. with. Yeah, they think they know yeah. about it. Yeah, the turbine. Wait, Gallowhorn is dirty? And that girl is dirty? Right. I mean... Like, even Noblest, this guy or that was like the big um, business dude that allowed them in kind of knew about it. He's like, yeah, she gonna die right here. It's like, they have everything in place for her to get assassinated. Which sucks. And all the while, it's like... That we was have, I think so. This, I thought that was another dude. I thought was it was Noblest, and then there's that other... Goof. The dude with the big ears. This dude, yeah. That ain't the dude that we came brothers with. Okay, that's not... No, that dude with, looks Japanese looking. This is a white man. Okay, I got him mixed up because I haven't seen the other dude in a while. What's that just, other dude's name? I think it was Saisei or something like that. Or, that I, was a planet or the place that they were. I don't maybe know his, his whole continent or Dort or whatever that shit is. He has his name that. But yeah, it's, it's it was wise of uh, them to be split up or, you know, like have old girl... Fumitan, you know, just have everything like that. You know, they split no, up. Like I need to know that dude's name. And I, don't, I don't see him. Anymore. Yeah, I don't see him in there either. That's not him. No, it's not. No. But I remember they were showing him yes, snacking on something. That's Noblis is the bastard. That yeah. Setting all this up. Anyway. Yeah, man. It's going to be crazy. It is. <laughs> but I just like how the intern guys was just ready for whatever. It was like, hey, right? man. Right? They was Jake from State Farm looking. The packages they have been we shipped. We bussing, okay? Right? It's we, like, as soon as y'all come in here, we got our chance got to get these you. guns already. Y'all got us all the stuff we need. Let's just go ahead and start busting at these motherfuckers and get this rebellion started. I'm like, oh, y'all came up for here? Thought y'all was going to arrest us? Or we finna arrest you already? Right. We finna go up into... No, I'm not finna say that. Anyway, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, man, that was a good episode. But uh, that's going to do it for us today, man. We hope you guys enjoyed this reaction because, as always, we have a blast reacting to them with you and for you. If there's anything we may have missed or got missed or screwed, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below, and I promise I will get back to you. But this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, my lovely wife, Johnny Lee, on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction, too. Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphan. Peace.